Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna go grocery shopping, so this is gonna be a grocery haul video, but I am going to make some pumpkin bread, and so I figured I would just share that with you and kind of make it like a vlog, but I'll leave a timestamp for when the grocery haul begins in case that is all you are interested in. Um, but I've been wanting to make this recipe for a while, and today is the day I'm trying to get this bread made and laundry done before I go to my chiropractor appointment and then go grocery shopping. And then we have small group for church tonight. So it's a full day. Let's get to it. Also, this recipe um, is for two loaves of bread. I only have one bread pan, so I'm just gonna cut the recipe in half and hopefully I don't mess that up. So I will leave the original recipe down in the description box. One, I always do that, but two, um, it'll be a little bit more confusing if I try to tell you all the amounts for all of the things because it's hard enough to remember when I'm making it to cut every ingredient in half, not just some of them. You know, you start cutting the ingredients in half and then you kind of forget part way through. So we're gonna try to not screw this up. Let's do it. I do already have the oven preheating to 350 degrees. Um, baking this is also going to help me realize some things I need to add to my grocery list. So I've got my little list here. I'm gonna be adding to it as we go along here. All right, we've got some flour. I'm gonna add in some salt, some baking powder, and some baking soda. This recipe looks really easy, and I had some pumpkin, because you know, when you open up a can of pumpkin and you make a recipe, you've got some left over, because it never uses the whole thing. This recipe, if you're making the whole thing, does call for two cups of pumpkin. I only need one cup, because I'm using half of it, but I'm hoping I have enough in the existing like open can. All right, and then we're gonna add in some pumpkin pie spice. I am getting low on pumpkin spice, pie spice, and it's like, do you get more? Cause it's not really the end of the season, but there's only like a couple weeks left that I'll probably be making that stuff. But there's like barely any left. I don't know, I guess at the expiration date, is out far enough, I'm gonna get one. So I'm gonna write this down real quick. All right, got that on the list. All right, and I think that is it for this. We're just gonna whisk this together. All right, now we're gonna add in our one cup of pumpkin and I have to, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to say I'm very excited because <laughs> what was left in the can is near perfect here. So, yay. I didn't want to have to open up another can because then I was like, I'm, this is just this vicious cycle that's not going to end. Although I'm sure I'll be opening up another can here before too long for another recipe. I have a couple more pumpkin recipes that I really want to try. Do y'all like pumpkin? All right, so we're going to add in our brown sugar and granulated sugar. This was a little trickier because it's two thirds cup of each and cutting two thirds in half. I mean, I'm just gonna guess it. Right, did I do that right? Nope, I did that wrong. So cutting two thirds in half would be easy. You would just put one third, which is what this was. I put one third plus a half of a third. Guys, baking can be hard because of math. <laughs> totally leaving this in. You guys need to see the struggle so i'm going to scoop out now oh, that one already got pumpkin on it i'm scooping out what i can that is not tainted with pumpkin but i'm not putting it back in the bag just in case i will put it i'll probably put it in the refrigerator in case there's a little bit of pumpkin in there and use it in my tea this is yep okay continuing on I was actually pretty good at bath when I was younger. Not, I'm not sure why cutting it two thirds in half was so hard for my brain, but I'm laughing at myself and I hope you're laughing at me too. All right, and I'm the recipe calls for applesauce or canola oil. I do not use canola oil ever. So applesauce is a great alternative. We're gonna add a half a cup of that. I'm gonna add a half a tablespoon of vanilla. Now the recipe calls for three eggs and I probably could just do two eggs and it wouldn't be a problem, 
but I haven't eaten yet. So I'm going to make myself some breakfast when this gets put in the oven. So I have two eggs here and I'm just going to whisk them and pour, you know, most of it in and save the rest to add to my breakfast. You probably don't have to do that. I would imagine two eggs is going to be just fine, but that's what I'm doing. All right, we're just going to mix this all together. I'm going to switch here to a whisk and really mix it up. And we're going to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. We're going to fold in some chocolate chips. All right, I have my loaf pan lined with parchment paper. Just a little tip for you. Crumble up the parchment paper in a ball. I didn't do that on camera because that would be a really annoying noise. And then open it up and it kind of stays in. Normally if it's just like flat, it just kind of like bounces back out. But if you crumble it up in a ball first, that helps. All right, I'm just shaking it out here, to even it up. Well, just a few more, not a lot, just a few more chocolate chips on top. All right, and we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for 50 to 55 minutes until a toothpick will come out clean in the middle. So there it is. All right, out of the oven. I'm gonna let it cool in the pan for about 10 minutes and then um, they don't pull it out just by lifting the parchment paper out and let it cool on the rack completely. But it looks really, really good. Right, guys so I had a mad dash to get out of my house I was running a little bit late went to the chiropractor I feel great I think I just rhymed what did I say before that I feel like it rhymed because I was late and great I did rhyme I totally rhymed anyways <laughs> I'm running into the Dollar Tree there's something I'm really hoping to find in the plus section that I've seen other people get on YouTube but I have not been able to find it myself and I really want to and then I think I'm gonna run into an antique store because there's a couple Christmas items I've been looking for like all year. And I haven't looked there in a while, um, but it's a huge antique store. So I'm just gonna like kind of look generally and then like go to the booth that's usually has a lot of Christmas stuff. But anyways, I'll take you with us, with, I'll take you with me if you're still here. Um, we are gonna grocery, sh we, I am having trouble talking. We are gonna grocery shop but I got a few things to do. I am probably gonna be pushing it with my time, but I'm gonna try to do all the things because I like to leave my house once a week. <laughs> so if I can get it all done, then I can just be home the next couple days, which is great for me. Anyways, blah, 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 blah. They really do have cute stuff. If you have a Dollar Tree Plus section, usually between three and five dollars. But I don't see what I was looking for. Just kidding. All right, guys, I found them. I was so excited. Um, I've been wanting a couple little trees for different parts of the house, but not really wanting to spend a lot of money on them. And these trees, I'd seen people haul them on in, on YouTube, and I think it was Fallon on Moss Family TV got one and actually set it up so I could see it, and it was pretty decent. I mean, it's not like this huge, full, like, detailed tree that you would see, I don't know, like, maybe from Hobby Lobby, but for a four-foot tree, it was pretty good, so I was definitely on the hunt for them, and I found them. I'm so excited. That was, like, my big thing that I was hoping to get. Um, I bought three of them. Um, I knew for sure I wanted two, but I think I can think of a third place. And I was like, if I don't get them now, um, I will regret it. Anyways, on to the antique store. Maybe I'll have, have the same kind of success. I have taken you guys in here with me before. Um, I'm trying to go pretty quick and just scanning for Christmas stuff specifically. I saw some cute little 
um, wooden ornaments, but I didn't take out my camera because it was right near the employees. But I have so much to do today. I can't take a long time. All right, so I moved pretty quickly through there, partially because I really had to use the bathroom. Um, but I was also just looking for a couple specific things that I didn't see. There was some cute stuff, but um, just trying to stay focused. But right next door is like a little coffee house that I like to go to and I got myself a hot chai tea latte with almond milk and vanilla. So I'm going to enjoy that and get some grocery shopping done. I've got a couple Actually, I'm still doing pretty good on time, but I need to like go to the bank. I need to go go to Lowe's. I need to do a few things in addition to the grocery shopping. So I'm going to try to stop the fun Christmas browsing and get to it. All right, guys, it is the next day. I got home from grocery shopping just in time to put stuff away before I had to head out. This has happened the last couple weeks. But anyways, I've got my grocery haul for you. It's not super huge, but um, let's get into it. All right, most of my stuff is from Aldi, so we will start there. Picked up some cereal, some white and brown sugar, just, you know, baking season. I got some mandarins as well as some grapes, some parchment paper, once again, a baking season. I got some of these little um, honey gold bite-sized potatoes for a dinner this week, hopefully. Some pumpkin pie spice, because I decided to go for it. I'm just about out. I got some more of these chicken thighs. They were 30% off, so I'm just gonna put these in the freezer. Some eggs and sour cream, just kind of things, you know, normal stuff that we needed. Butter did go on sale just a little bit. It's still a lot more than it was last year. Hoping it goes down a little bit more for baking season, but I bought three regular, and three salted and one unsalted. You can freeze butter as well, um, but like I said, baking season and then i picked up a couple fun things from the aldi finds aisle i picked up this sign here you can see there it's got two sides of thankful and then this cute little truck this was on clearance for a dollar 99 and then this one also reversible you can see it's got the farmer's market and then talk turkey to me this was on sale for a dollar 24 and I'm not sure, they're so cute on their own, so I might just leave them be. And I'm actually getting ready to take down my fall stuff to put out for Christmas. Um, but I also do DIYs. If you are new here, I have a DIY channel. And so I love finding things that are inexpensive that I can just paint and make over. So I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them all as is or if I'll make some of them over. But either way, really good prices. And then I picked up these little LED copper string lights. Um, I think they were, they were $3.99. Dollar Tree has a 10 count lights, which if you go based on that alone, this is more expensive because you could get, you know, two sets of those ones for what, $2.50. But um, these ones, they are battery operated, but they have a timer when you turn them on, they'll be on for six hours, I think. And so for where I think I wanna use them, I figured, it was worth it to spend just a little bit more to get those. I kind of wanted multiple of them, but I just got the one set for now. Maybe I'll get more once I get decorating. And then from Ollie's, I picked up this cereal. It was way marked down. So we usually have cereal for like an evening snack. It was like 58 cents or whatever. There's a couple other things I got from Ollie's. I will show you, I we snacked on them last night, so they're not over here. And then from Walmart, I just picked up some canned corn, some chai tea latte. I thought they had stopped carrying this. And I was pleasantly surprised to find it this week. And then some soap. This is the bar soap that we like, and they don't always have a bunch of it. But today they had, or yesterday rather, they had a ton of it. So I bought, I bought, what did I buy? Five of them. They're pretty big bars of soap. These are more things I picked up from Ollie's, um, but we just, I pulled them out because we snacked on them. Actually, it looks like we didn't actually open these last night. I pulled them out because I thought we were going to snack on them. But we did it, these. These are like $3.99, and these were... $4.99. It was something like $2 cheaper than what this size is at Walmart. And we were kind of, my husband was like, we're kind of out of like sweet snacks, except for whatever I decide to bake when I bake. So I was wanted to buy a few things. And then I picked these up at Walmart. We definitely opened these. My husband loves the Cadbury eggs for 
like Easter time. And this is basically the same thing, but they're little snowballs. So picked up these. This was from Walmart. All right, so I only have a rough meal plan. Um, I grocery shopped this week earlier than normal just because that was the day that I had a bunch of stuff to do. So I figured I might as well while I was out. So we're still finishing up last week's meal plan. But um, also if you're new here, I have meat in the freezer. Um, we only pick that up really when it's on sale. And we had some produce left over from last week. Um, I've got frozen veggies in the freezer. So I do have, you know, food to make, even if it doesn't look like it based on my haul as my cupboard is open back there. Um, so my my general meal plan for right now for um, this coming week is going to be chicken noodle soup, homemade chicken noodle soup. I've been wanting to make that forever and that will definitely give us leftovers. And then I also want to do some type of tachos, which is basically nachos over tater tots, which I already have a bag of that in the freezer and I'm not sure. And I know I have ground beef, so we'll do some form of that, maybe like cheeseburger tachos. I'm not sure. Um, and that's all I have planned. We also have a Friendsgiving next week, so I'll be making food for that. And obviously we'll be, you know, going to that. So that'll be whatever we eat that night. So just kind of a busy time of year. So I'm creating a meal plan, but also making that subject to change. Anyways, that's it for now. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you next time. Bye guys.